Monday 3rd of August 2015 paper highlights first let's look at the paper highlights from daily mirror government teachers and police officials postal voting today election commissioner mahinda deshapriya said yesterday that canvassing was strictly prohibited in and outside the premises of polling stations during today's postal voting and the highlight from daily mirror underworld gang rivalry leads to kotahena shooting rivalry between two underworld gangs was believed to be the cause of the shooting spree that claimed the life and injured many in kotahena on friday but police didn't rule out political involvement involvement in the gruesome affair initial investigations revealed that the assailants had targeted a wanted underworld activist army sampath and his associate sanka who were members of an election canvassing team comprising several dozen supporters of finance minister ravi karunanayake another highlight from daily mirror cbk supporting unfgg ex president chandrika bandarnayake kumaratunga in a show of support for the united national party led united front for good governance visited the campaign office of gampaha district candidate at Arjuna Ranatunga more halas from Daily Mirror Pilgrim Falls pray to crocodile at Manikganga a youth who stepped into the Manikganga for a bath last morning was seen being dragged away by a crocodile Katragama police said they recovered the body with the help of the residents another highlight from Daily Mirror all the habits die hard friday's shooting at blue mandal road where a united national front for good governance supporter was killed is ample evidence that some politicians are not prepared to mend their old habits of so associating with underworld gangsters though they talk of social ills the janata vimukti paramuna said yesterday general secretary chelwin silva said this was an obvious conclusion one would arrive at going by the reports that the killing was linked to the underworld warfare mohalas from daily mirror tulf wants resolution on indian model the tamil united liberation front which is contesting the general election in the northern and eastern provinces except in the digamadulla district has advocated a political solution to the national question based on the Indian model of power devolution. Mohalas from Daily Mirror. Ranil promises to develop North. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe at an election rally in Vaunia on Saturday promised to set up a special center for the empowerment of war widows and another center for the benefit of those physically handicapped due to the war. Under a future government led by his United National Front for Good Governance, he pledged to look into the cases of missing persons and to give red rus to their families. He said his party would get a majority in eight provinces but that he needed representation from the one as well. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Prabhakaran rehabilitated bodyguard in election fray Sivanandan Navindra alias Vendan a former bodyguard of Tamil Tiger Supremo Velupille Prabhakaran is one of the nine former Tiger militants contesting the August 17th parliamentary elections from the Jaffna Kilinochi district as members of a new outfit called Crusaders for Democracy Mohalas from Daily Mirror assault on UN peers to get bail Dambulla acting magistrate Niluka Vijayathilaka yesterday released on personal bail of rupees 1 lakhs each the central province is rural development sports and youth affairs minister pramita bandar tenakun and another suspect after they surrendered to the police on charges of assaulting some unp supporters now let's move to the paper halas from silon today police protection to tajuddin's grave police have provided security to the cemetery in which the rugby player wasim tajuddin was buried police sources said there are reports that tajuddin's body is to be exhumed in the coming days after a court order in a bid to determine the reason for his death a senior policeman said that Several policemen attached to the Dehiwala police are deployed to ensure that no one attempts are made to tamper with the grave. In addition, CID inspects the site several times a day. Although there has not yet been a court order to exhume the body, the police will seek an order to exhume the body, the senior policeman said. Another highlight from Ceylon today. STF finds sword in fruit stall in Mawanella behind UNP stage. The special task force has uncovered a hidden sword in a fruit stall near the area where Prime Minister Ronnie Wickram Singh was scheduled to hold a meeting yesterday evening in Mawanella. This ward was found to be in the fruit stall behind the stage erected to hold the UNP meeting during a search made by the STF. One suspect along with this ward were apprehended by the STF and handed over to the Mawanella police for further investigations. Mohalas from Ceylon today. Body in bag mystery. Police hunt for suspect. The individual under suspicion in the murder of Kartika whose body was found inside a luggage bag at the Bastion Mawath bus terminal has had several extra merit affairs said a police source police sources also told silon today that the postmortem of the body was conducted after the relatives of the deceased identified the body an open verdict was submitted after the autopsy and the body was referred to the government analyst for further examination now let's move to the paper halas from daily news cold tender expo 
closed. Grossed regularities in awarding multi-million dollar coal tender for past five years. In a startling turn of events to the multi-million dollar coal tender, Power and Energy Ministry Secretary Dr. B.M.S. Batagoda has written to the Senior Assistant Secretary to the President, stating that there were gross irregularities in the awarding of tenders for the supply of coal to the thermal power plant in Arachole during the past five years. The letter has been sent to T.T. Upulmali, Senior Assistant Secretary to the President on July 24th over procurement of coal for Lakwiji power plant in Putlam. Another highlight from Daily News. Government revenue up by 16.4% during first quarter. Ravi. In pursuance of the good governance concept introduced by the new government by dealing with corruption and fraud that prevailed during the last 10 years of the Mahindra Rajapaksa government. The total government revenue during the first quarter of 2015 increased by 16.4% to Rs. 285.6 billion. Finance Minister Ravi Karnanayaka said. Another highlight from Daily News. UNPMR have no right to speak of public sector. JVP. The JVP yesterday said former President Mahindra Rajapaksa and the UNP leader Ranil Vikramasinghe had no right to speak of the well-being of the public sector as the former had blatantly misused state property and the latter had attempted to prune down the public service. Mohalas from Daily News. PM to launch Colombo Candy Expressway. PM to launch first stage of work today. Construction work on the first stage of Colombo Candy Expressway from Kadavata to Mirigama will be launched by Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe today. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe will unveil a plaque at Kadavata where construction will begin at 9.30 a.m. today. President Maitripala Sirisena has also been invited to grace the occasion. The distance of the first section is 37 kilometers. Another highlight from Daily News. Three UNP supporters assaulted. Pramita arrested. Central Provincial Council Minister Pramita Bandara Tennakun was arrested by police yesterday for assaulting three UNP supporters on Friday in Dambulla. Pramita Bandara Tennakun is the son of former UPFA minister and Mathali district candidate Jonaka Bandara Tennakun. He was later produced before the Dambulla Magistrate Court and released on bail. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspapers and we will bring you more tomorrow.